Hey YouTubers, this is Noah from Elementor again. Now I'll be teaching you about the Prices List widget. This practical widget makes listing prices on your page a much easier job, as it enables you to do so uniquely with only a few clicks and adjustments. So first I'll search for the widget and drag it in. And once it's dragged in, you will see the Content tab and the Style tab. In the Content area, you have full control over the widget's contents. Now here you have the list of all the items in the widget. You could duplicate them and delete them. And you could add as many items as you want by clicking here. Just delete them. Now by clicking on each item, you have its settings. So first you have price where you could insert the price of the item. And you have title and description where you could insert the title and description of the item. You have image, where you could choose the image from the media library. Say I pick this image. See how it's displayed? And you could insert a link for every item with the option of opening it in a new tab by clicking here. So that was the content area of this widget. Moving over to the style area of the widget, where we have full control over the list style, image style, and item style. So in the list style, we have for the title and price, description, and separator. So for the title and price, we have the color, where you could choose the color of the title and price, okay? And we have the topography, where you have the typical topography options, and such as size, family, weight, transform, style, line height, and letter spacing. Next, we have for the description, same thing. We have the color. You could choose the color of the description and its typography as well. And then we have the separator, where we could choose the type of the style of separator from solid, dotted, dash, double, or none at all. Okay. And once you choose a separator, if you choose none, then you don't have the rest of the options. But if we do choose a style, we have the weight, where you could choose the weight of the separator, and the color, okay? And the spacing, where we could choose, we could set the exact spacing from the title and the prices. See how it affects the spacing? All right, and moving on to the image style options. Here we have the image size. You could set it from thumbnail all the way to full and customize. So if we set it as full, we'll leave it at thumbnail for now. And you have border radius where you could set the border radius of the edges of the image. So say I want a rounded image, I'll give it 50, even rounder. Okay, depends on the image itself. And you have spacing where you could set the exact spacing between the image and the contents, meaning the title, prices, and the description. Okay, moving on to the item style options. Here we have the row gap where you could set the exact spacing between each and every item. And we have the vertical align, which is relative to the image. So right now, as you can see, it's top. So it's more to the top of the image. If we set as bottom, it's set to the bottom and center. All right, so those were the style options for the price list widget. So now I'll just show you a few quick examples how to set a creative price list widget on your page. Scrolling right down, we have here this section with a rather standard priceless widget. Now here, each list item has its image. As you could see here, we chose an image for each list item. Okay, and for the style, we just played around with the colors and topography. And look here, as you could see, the separator is set as a solid style instead of dashed or dotted. Scrolling down, we have another display really nice display for the widget. Now here it's in three different columns. Each one is a standard priceless widget, 
but we gave with the style, we gave it different topographies, we played around with the colors and topographies here, and here the separator is dotted. And next we have here a section. Now here each list item also has an image, but look here under style, image style, as you could see we gave it, first of all, the image size is customized, and we gave it a border radius of 50 pixels to make it completely rounded. And here we also have a border radius. We'll go down to the image style. Here the image size is also customized, but we also have here a border radius of eight, which makes it a bit rounded on the edges. And here too, we have a bit more topography, different types of separators, etc. Now that you know how to use this widget, you could display prices in a much more creative and interesting way. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.